Hi, this is Michael. Just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how I automate um, knobs and sliders within apps. So first thing I'm going to do is open up Hammerhead. All right. And um, if you have a hardware controller, you would just use a knob. But on the controller, uh, I don't have one. So I'm just going to use software controller. So I added a knob. If I click on the knob, you can see here that um, it's using controller change data, which is CC data. It's set for channel 1, port 1, CC 20, and it's, so it's going to send out values on CC 20. If I close this up, and I can put it in presentation mode if I want. Make it a little smaller, move it out of my way. Um, so we can now route um, Surface Builder port 1 to MIDI control, but I'm also going to route it to Helium because I want to record it in Helium. So now if we run Hammerhead, click on Options, um, MIDI Learn, click on the thing that you want to automate. Um, you could hit Learn and turn your, the knob on the controller, hardware controller if you wanted. I can't do that in software. I actually have to manually enter in the value. So in this case it was CC20. Done. And now if we click on the knob, if I move it, you can see it's moving within the app. So that's kind of what we wanted. Um, and so now we can go to Helium and usually this is off. You would, uh, if I hit rewind, you, normally you would hit loop and you would click and drag within this area and get it to be the length you want it to be. So if you were doing like an eight bar loop in Koala, for instance, um, maybe you would want to record automation for eight bars. Um, sync it to the host by clicking sync and then hit record. The only last thing you need to do is tell it where is it recording and so Normally this would be closed. You would click on controller. If you hold down controller, you can say um, expand height. That makes it taller. And then you can click where it says velocity and choose a lane that you want to put, um, record onto. And I'm going to choose CC20. Okay. So I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to hit, uh, if I go to uh, hammerhead, I'm just going to choose a sound for us. Choose that. Okay. Move this out of the way. All right. Hit play. And once we hit eight bars, it starts to loop. So I'm going to close this up, stop recording, and that's our automation. It's recorded. Um, within Helium, if you look at the top left where it says track one, if I hold it down, it shows me that it's sending out on channel one, port one. So now if we go to MIDI routing, um, I actually don't need Surface Builder anymore. And you can see Helium is actually sending out MIDI data right now. So if we send that to MIDI control and go to Hammerhead, you'll see that it's, it's actually automated now for that eight-part loop. And that's it.